Hello and welcome to another quick run through and discussion, I suppose, from my point of view about some of the features and capabilities of the ArcSight solution. Uh, something I've been doing in the past has been very much focusing around individual technology aspects. What is it? What do you do? How do you click this? And so on. And I've been asked to do a bit more, a little bit around uh, some higher level stuff. For example, what is ArcSight? And, and I've decided to embark on a little program, uh, and it's called my What Is series. And uh, this is the first one. I'll start at the very high level. What is ArcSight? Uh, this is a very short presentation. I'll just run through and have a quick discussion. I aim to keep these little videos as short as possible uh, and make them as many as I can as well, so we can start getting some of this information shared to everyone else, because uh, there clearly is a demand for it. So anyway, without further ado, what is ArcSight? Well, ArcSight's a portfolio, and if we look back in history, it used to be really focused around one set of, one, one particular product, efficient, uh, effectively. If we look back through history, it really used to be focused on one particular product. In that case, it used to be the what we call ArcSight ESM, or Enterprise Security Manager. But over the years, uh, it's actually grown to be more of a, a portfolio, and it's worthwhile me just having a discussion around that to indicate, indicate a little bit more about what ArcSight is as a whole. Probably the first thing to say is ArcSight is, is a portfolio. It's a brand. It's a number of things that fit within that. And it's not just one product. Uh, so let's, let's start from the bottom. Um, we actually have what we call the ArcSight data platform. That is a combination of a couple of products underneath. So within that, we have the ability to collect data, which is what we call smart connectors, the ability to store data for long-term compliance use cases. That's called ArcSight Logger. And the ability to manage this as well, which is called the ArcSight Site Management Center, or also known as ArcMC. At the very top, we have the individual components that do stuff. So we have the SIEM, or the Security Information and Event Management. Uh, that's the ArcSight ESM. That's the product most people are aware of, most people understand, and, and in a lot of cases have been using for a number of years. And then we've got the newer areas with the analytics solutions that we were delivering. So we got ArcSight User Analytics, uh, that's our user behavior analytics uh, platform that we can use and we integrate with that. We've also got the ArcSight DMA or DNS Malware Analytics. And then finally, we got some capabilities built around what we call Application Analytics or App Analytics. And that's all wrapped together with a marketplace. So as you can see, ArcSight is more than just a single product. It's actually a number of uh, joined together components that deliver functionality and security monitoring in key separate areas, whether that be focused on SIEM or whether that be around analytics or whether that just is around the collection of the data from the source systems, applications and devices, and even then the storage around it. So ArcSight is a brand. It's a number of products within a portfolio that serves to solve security monitoring across a wide area of requirements, situations and problems that we need to solve. So that's what ArcSight is in general, a product to facilitate storage, uh, searching, reporting compliance use cases, as well as monitoring and correlation across your enterprise. So let's dig into that in a little bit more detail for a second. What, what does that mean? What, what are the things that we need to be focusing on? So I guess the thing to, to bear in mind, and I'll, I'm going to use this particular slide in a later presentation where I'm going to talk about what are analysts, what are hunt, uh, what is the hunt team, what do they do as well? Because we, we need to differentiate that. And this is quite a busy slide, but I want to draw out a couple of elements here. In general, what we're trying to do is we're trying to collect log events and information from applications, endpoints, cloud systems systems and environments, network devices, and even security products to allow us to do something with that. In the modern enterprise, that's a number of different things. So we need to collect that data. We need to do correlation upon that. We need to store the information, for example, for, for compliance use cases and to, to look at that data. We need to generate alerts that we can then do some investigation on. And then we also need to have some capability of, of looking back at that data to try and understand what's happened over time. So as you can see, there's a number of key requirements here. So we need to do some form of real-time monitoring. So get the data in, understand what it means, carry out correlation, uh, and I've got another what is correlation later, uh, and understand what that is. Map that with indicators of compromise. So IOCs, that could be threat intelligence, it could be information from security systems and devices. 
But we need to understand what that means and how that maps together to allow us to then in real time generate alerts. The alerts then get picked up by the analysts who can look at those and do an initial triage, understand, is this a real incident? Or is this something we can close off and not worry too much about? If it's a real incident, can I close this? Is it straightforward? Is this something I can just quickly remediate now? Or does this require further investigation? And if it does, let's hand it to the investigations team who can handle that. Maybe even using a full incident management solution to address that. Then ultimately, making sure that as we identify new threats and problems that our organization is facing, that we feed that back as an additional layer of indicators of compromise or IOCs so that that can be used in the real-time correlation engine so we can start to understand and close this loop uh, around what's actually occurring. New threats arise, new threats are seen, ensure that we can identify those, feed them back so we identify anything that's happening in the future as well. So as you can see, Typically, when in a security operations environment, there's a number of layers here. It's not just about feeding some data into a system. It's about doing a number of other aspects here and doing so in a closed loop environment so that the, the systems then feed themselves as well as having human interaction here. We've got to have some humans here in here, some analysts to look at the, uh, the alerts and carry out the investigations. Because again, clearly it really depends on what the situation is, what the circumstances are and who can do and look into and solve particular problems because it could be impacted by governance, compliance, even regional legal issues as well. So ArcSight provides a number of key components within that. So it's providing the ability to collect that log data and event information from applications and systems. It's providing the ability to use that correlation warehouse ca database capability to, to understand what's going on. It's providing that real-time correlation. It's also providing the uh, an element of the workflow around the alerting, around the workflow of how that's going to go to the analysts, how they do that investigation, trapping the information of what they're doing, uh, having case management, and even uh, providing an ability to feed that on as an investigation process. So ArcSight as a set of products to solve this addresses a number of key areas around this. So ArcSight as a set of products addresses a number of key areas around this, not just one particular product, but actually addresses a number of specific sets within this security operations environment. So as you can see, what is ArcSight? Well, it's a number of parts of a security operations environment. It's not everything, but it's a number of parts that start to solve some of these requirements that customers have. But specifically, it's worth just noting that ArcSight is built around uh, solving the security operations problems. It's about providing us with security and correlation with context, understanding what that data means. Like I say, I've got more on this to talk about what is correlation. It's about having a, an environment where we can tailor the, tailor the setup, tailor the configuration, identify what those indicators of compromise are, feed that back into the real-time engine so we can make sure that we don't uh, cause uh, and trip over those ones in the future. As well as having, and that's what's coming, we've got some new solutions addressing key areas to do with analytics and investigation and hunt functionality as well. So that's due very, very shortly, and there's more coming on that soon. So look forward to seeing some more solutions specifically focused around that within the ArcSight brand. So finally, I'm flipping back to this simpler view for a second, just to highlight some key aspects again of going back to security operation centers and what we need to deliver. So remember, we're looking at the collection of data, the generation of alerts, the ability to look at those incidents, to carry out investigations, and then feed that back as further indicators of compromise so we can ensure that we're tracking and understanding this going forward. The ArcSight solution addresses key areas within that, whether that's that be from the collection and acquisition of some of that data from the environments and, and areas, security, applications, cloud, uh, and endpoints specifically, doing the real-time correlation, providing ability to store data, to do some investigations, and providing a workflow mechanism for the analyst to look at and, and understand what those incidents are and carry out investigations and use a case management system. That's what ArcSight's doing, number of key components in that that deliver that capability. So anyway, 
that ends my what is arc site. I hope that's covered uh, the very basics. And then, so that's my ending of the what is arc site. Very high level view, digging into a very specific scenario around what we call within a security operations center and where those components fit generically around some of the functionality that organizations are looking to achieve. So thank you very much for your time and on to the next what is arc